Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer funds using different types of accounts. In here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We are currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. And we have different types of accounts. We have, for example, a ledger account that is an injected account because uh, we added it to the Polkadot.js browser extension. We can see it here, this uh, ledger account. Then we have a controller account that is also an injected account. And then we have a UI account. This is an account that has been created directly on the Polkadot.js user interface. So this account is not listed on the browser extension. And finally, we have an account that has been imported from Parity Signer into the browser extension. And we can see it here. You can see also the different account can have a different logo. Like for example here you have a QR code which means that this is an account that has been imported using the Parity Signer app. Here we have a, a USB logo which means that this is an account that has been imported from a, a ledger device, a hardware wallet. And all the other accounts here they don't have any logo which means that they've been created directly on the browser extension. Remember before using the Polkadot.js user interface you always need to check if there are any metadata updates and you can see it here, you have a notification. We can click it and click on metadata and in here we can do directly the metadata update to the Polkadot.js browser extension. We click it. The Polkadot browser extension is displaying some information, for example, who is requesting the update, in this case the Polkadot.js apps the type of chain that we are updating and also the type of upgrade. In this case, we are upgrading the version 9300. If we are okay with that, we can click on yes, do this metadata update. And now we can start using these accounts to do some transfer. Before diving into today's demonstration, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and that you are interested in, drop us a message. We will first use the account that's been created directly on the Polkadot.js user interface to transfer some funds. We go and click on the send button. In here we can see the sender, the UI account. We have to specify a receiver, the KSM controller, and then we can specify the amount of KSM tokens. If you want to transfer out all the funds from this account, you have to go here and uh, uncheck this option here because this will uh, do a keep alive check. A keep alive transfer will basically check at the end of the transaction if you have enough funds in your account so that you can keep it on the Kusama network. Remember that there is always an existential deposit. On Kusama, is uh, 33 micro KSM, which means that uh, if the funds in your account drop below this amount, your account will be ripped and uh, the remaining funds will be burned. This is to avoid the existence of dust account and save storage on the blockchain. In this case, we would like to send out all the funds. So we deactivate this option and we activate this one here. So we wanted to transfer the full amount and read the sender. We click make transfer and in here we have to type the password that we chose for this account. After typing the password we can check uh, for example other information before click sign and submit. We can see the fees here and we can see the type of extrinsic that we are signing. This is a balances dot transfer all which means that we are transferring out all the funds. If we agree with all this information we can click sign and submit. We can see that uh, we don't have any more funds on this uh, UI account. What we can do now is to go here and uh, forget this account. The second account we're going to use is the one that has been uh, imported into the browser extension from the Parity Signer. We can go again and click on send. As before, we want not to do a keep alive check and we want, we want to rip the sender. 
we are sending from the signer to the KSM controller and click on make transfer and uh, we want to sign with uh, the signer account the browser extension will now show us a QR code that we'll need to scan with our phone using the Parity Signer app. So we go on the Parity Signer app, we click on the scanner feature and uh, we scan the QR code. Now we can see that there is an error. This is because we didn't do the metadata update on the Parity Signer app. In order to do so, like uh, we did for the browser extension, we need to click on decline so we cannot proceed and sign this transaction. Before doing this, we need, to, we need to do the metadata update. We can go on the Polkadot support page on the article how to create an account in Parity Signer. We can scroll down and here we have a note. The new Parity Signer also allows for metadata updates. It is recommended to regularly check for updates here. We can click on here and uh, be sure that uh, you are selecting the Kusama network. And now we can take our Parity Signer app that is uh, on the scanner feature and we can start scanning this QR code. You will see that it will take some time. You can see a progress bar below. Just keep scanning until the progress bar is complete. After the update is finished, you can uh, click on approve and then we can go back, go back again, go on the scanner feature. We can go back to the Polkadot.js uh, user interface. We have our QR code and we can take our Parity Signer app to scan the QR code. And here we go. We can uh, see and review before uh, signing all this information. We can see that this is a palette balances. The method is uh, transfer all. We can see also the receiver. The receiver seems to be the right one, is uh, the controller. And um, the keep alive is uh, false. And if we are okay with uh, this information, we can click on uh, unlock key and sign. You will have to enter your phone password in order for the Parity Signer app to display the QR code with the signature information. And after entering your phone password, you have a QR code with your signature that you can display to the camera of your computer. Before doing that, click on scan signature via camera. Now you can display the QR code to the camera of your computer. And here we go, we successfully sent all the KSM in the signer account to the controller. And we can forget this account as we did with the previous one created with the UI. We cannot do it uh, in here because this is an injected account. So we need to go to the Polkadot uh, browser extension, search for the account here, signer, go here and click on forget the account. And yes, I want to forget it. All right, now we can uh, refresh the page and we can see that the signer account is uh, no more there. To send funds out from an account that's been created uh, directly on the browser extension, like uh, this KSM controller account, simply go on the send button here. Spe specify that uh, you want to send, for example, from this uh, controller account to the um, ledger account that we have here specify the amounts of tokens and then click make transfer and uh, click on sign and submit. The Polkadot browser extension will display once again the information about uh, this transfer. If you are good with it, we can uh, use the password for this uh, account to sign. And we can see we successfully transferred 0.01 KSM from the controller to the ledger account. Now we're gonna send some funds from the ledger account to the controller. In order to do so, we can go and click on send. We can review the sender is the ledger account. The receiver must be the controller. We can type the amount of tokens we would like to send. 
Before clicking on Make Transfer, make sure that your Ledger device is switched on, that you enter the PIN code, and that you are now on the Kusama app and you can see the screen Kusama ready. Then click on Make Transfer. We're going to sign with the Ledger device. Click Sign and Submit. The browser extension will show you some information about uh, this transfer. If you're happy with it, you can click Sign on Ledger. Go to your Ledger device to review the transaction. You can check that this is a Balances Transfer Keep Alive transaction, that the destination is the controller account, that the amount is uh, 0 0.01 KSM, and then we can approve this transaction. We have successfully transferred 0.01 KSM from the Ledger account to the controller account. All right, I hope you learned something today about how to transfer funds using different accounts on the Polkadot.js user interface. And I see you in another video.